running a little late on our feature, but that's, that's fine. We have a time, wonderful time ahead of us. And for Jane Fallon to come up to the stage, along with um, her accompanist, accompanist for tonight, Steve Gilligan on the bass. Um, but um, I do have a few shout outs today uh, uh, that I, I wanted to make sure Jane knew and heard. Oh, actually, let me make sure I have this in my hand. I'm sorry, uh, I have to read this. But, uh, uh, one of the things I wanted to do to, to talk to you, I mean, many of you have read Jane's bio that I, of course, added to. Um, um, but I actually just learned today that um, I, I sound to myself that I'm squeaking in my ear, but I can't tell because of my hearing. Um, but um, uh, I learned today that uh, not only did Jane come far today from Brookline, New Hampshire, but she's moving. And she's moving even farther away to Florida. So go figure. So this is, um, this is actually the first time Jane has featured here since uh, February 11th of 2013. And, um, and what a great feature that was. And I know tonight um, there's been a whole lot of music written by Jane since then. But I want to make a couple of comments on, on on, on some of the music she's written, but first off, I want to give a couple of shout outs of people who could not be here tonight. Um, two of those people are Ellen and Alan Schmidt. They send their love, they send their best wishes, and they know you're going to do an awesome set. Um, also, Junko Ogawa and John Shockey, who I have a little more to say about, uh, um, send their love of the same. Uh, Branson Bofet had something come up and he couldn't make it, and Carolyn Runquist uh, was eager to hear you, but her dad's in from Chicago, so she couldn't make it tonight. Um, and we have a couple of people who are shy because um, um, they just got back from CMW, I guess, last night. So, <laughs> they're tired. But uh, after, uh, I just wanted to read you a very quick thing from John. Um, uh, John Chalky just sent me an email saying, that uh, his update is, he did very well today, uh, and the current plan is, barring any, um, and he thanks everybody who came today as well, and, and all along, uh, barring anything going wrong, the plan is that he's gonna be discharged on Sunday to go home, uh, and have OT and PT at home. So that's really good news, but at the last part of his, uh, um, his message was, have a great night at ROM tonight. I'm really sorry to miss Jane, who is a fine songwriter. I hope you enjoy her, and please give her my love. Love, John. So I wanted to just say that, but also I wanted to just give you a quick, quick thing on, on Jane's past since I've known her. I mean, she gives her heart to so many organizations. She gives her heart to, um, um, to people who have gone too quickly. Um, the highs and low of her own personal life uh, are within every one of her songs. Um, and, and, and may they all be highs, you know, here and, and, and with her new life and, and, and move to Florida, I think uh, we'll, we'll get some really sunny, sunny kind of songs. But, you know, I, I just remember back to when she did this fabulous show in a, in a place I could never even get to again if I tried at the Bull Run restaurant and uh, um, Shirley Mass uh, uh, when she did the tribute to Bill Morrissey. Uh, what a show that was. And there is a picture actually of her with Michael Troy right out on her feature table. And, you know, speaking of people who have gone too soon. Um, but it's just, that was a fabulous show as well as a show she did for Ruth Ann Baylor to a big fundraiser for Rosie's Place. Um, that's who so much of who Jane Fallon is, and her songs tonight will echo that. I know she's got so much material on the back. Uh, I think I have most of them, but not all of them, and I'll let her um, tell you all about them, but um, they're gonna be great, and I love her dearly, and it'll be a little longer distance for her to get to Rom from Florida, but we'll try to get her again in, in the not too distant future. I will shut my mouth now. Let's hear it for Jane Fallon along with Steve Gilligan. Down near the bay, how did 
did I end up in New York City? I got a Mendocino boy and I miss him every day. How did I end up in New York City? Where there are way too many cars and I cannot see. California girl and I love the West Coast ways How did I end up in New York City Redwood trees and the early morning haze How did I end up in New York City where there are way too many cars and I cannot see stars Well I guess I got the bug when I was just 16 to leave my small town myself on the great white way now getting home is all that's on my mind oh I'm a small town girl and I love to walk those hills how did I end up in New York City Where only the buildings are higher than my eating bills How did I end up in New York City Where there are way too many cars And I cannot see the stars how did I end up in New York City? I'm a Mendocino girl And I live down near the bay How did I end up in New York City? That's, I know, knows all the, everything, emotion and stuff. That really just came out of a songwriting prompt month called February Album Writing Month. You write 14 songs in the month of February. Anybody else crazy enough to do that? Um, and it's sometimes you just get desperate and you do things like point at a map and pick something. So Mendocino came up. But I am from California, so that helped a lot. I grew up in the Sacramento Valley and uh, I, but I'd never been to Mendocino, and when I sang the song out, somebody who lived there said, oh, you've been to Mendocino, and I said, no. That's good songwriting, it sounds just like you know, but <laughs> what it is is good research, and I'm a researcher, so I looked it up on Wiki or something anyway. Mendocino girl, so I, I, I like the feeling of it, and I think it suits many people who've had to leave their homes, go someplace where they don't fit anymore. So the next song also is from February Album Writing Month. I was roaming around the South and I happened to be in Georgia. And uh, a lot of m memories and losses and things swirling around. And I wrote this song. <laughs> I gave my coffee to a homeless man And he said, well, thank you, ma'am I said, are you happy for the sunshine? And he said, you bet I am With a toothless grin As I recall Now 
Now the sun has turned to rain And he's keeping dry somewhere With a paper bag that's filled with wine It's a rainy day in Georgia And a little rain suits me just fine I've got shelter, I've got food But a sunny day's not right for me I'm more in the mood for a sky that's stormy And clouds are gray You used to love the sunshine Something I have never understood It's a rainy day in Georgia And a little rain just does me Sunday school and we will hug again as friends and that day is coming soon and meanwhile it's okay for me to grieve no I don't mind it all those little drops of Soothe a soul that bleeds It's a rainy day in Georgia And a little rain is what I need Thank you Thank you. So uh, I write other songs besides during February Album Writing Month. We're going to do two now that I think I did the last time I was at Rom. that Steve and Kenny Seltzer and I were here a couple of years, a few years ago. And this is on, um, these are on my gem, Tangled in a Tree album. I've got several albums out there. And one special thing, I'm, I'm downsizing albums and not making new ones. If you're into computers and you love to put things right into iTunes, I've got three of my albums on a flash drive back there. You can plug it in, has all the lyrics, all the artwork, and you have all of my songs for 15 bucks. So if you're interested in that, it's back there. And I also have a sampler CD of the, my greatest hits. And that's for those, for those who want a CD to take home but don't want to um, uh, buy all three of them. So there's several things, and I have three books back there. Um, for people who like mysteries, I wrote my first mystery novel with songs. I've got two of them tonight. I haven't released this yet. It's called The Girls Go to Montreal, and it's a mystery ghost story, and the ghost sings nine songs that are clues. So I've got that back there, plus my songwriting book, uh, which is nine songs, and my dad's biography, which has nine songs. So anyway, lots of stuff back there, like Neil said. And Terry has some wonderful stuff, too. Probably already looked at his things. He's got some wonderful CDs out there. But this is called Daddy Was a Cowboy. And my daddy was a cowboy, but it's not really about him. But uh, fiction merges with truth all the time, right, with, with what we're, we're saying. So daddy did do some of the things in the song when he was a young man in California, raising um, hops and working in the rice fields. One day, the Sacramento River overflowed. And the rancher said, can somebody help out here? Because the Army Corps of Engineers is not showing up and it's going to flow into our rice fields. Anybody know anything about dynamite? And Daddy said, well, I reckon I can do that. So he and his buddy went out in the skiff and they laid 10 rows of dynamite and they skedaddled out of there and blew the, blew the dam up. That's in there. And my daddy always wore his sleeves rolled up like this. 
for work with machinery, a little cigarette out of his mouth till he was smart enough to quit. Uh, so those things crept in, but the rest of it's fiction. It's called My Daddy Was a Cowboy. On the outskirts of town in a single wide, just mama and me, and not much pride. Whenever we'd go into town, no one said hey. They just looked down Didn't know why they turned away But daddy was a cowboy My daddy was a cowboy They say Found the picture I was looking for Buried in the bottom of her underwear drawer along and lean in a pickup truck cigarette in his mouth and his sleeves rolled up heard the door slam and I put it away daddy was a cowboy my daddy was a cowboy they say Saving some young girl from a wild horse stampede Or maybe the levee overflowed and threatened to bury the town And daddy lit the fuse that saved them all Just before he drowned I guess it might have been that way Cause daddy was a cowboy my daddy was a cowboy, they say. In and out of trouble since I've been ten, didn't like school. I didn't fit in, Mama. She went out late each night and didn't come back till the morning light. Never knew where she'd been away. Daddy was a cowboy, my daddy was a cowboy, they say. I left home at just 16, looking for adventure, chasing a dream. Long come a man in a pickup truck, cigarette in his mouth. And his sleeves rolled up I hopped in and we pulled away Daddy was a cowboy My daddy was a cowboy They say Daddy was a cowboy They say Thank you. Um, story songs. And I wrote about story songs a lot in my, uh, my book. It's a very popular uh, form of songwriting. Uh, this is another story song, but it's again fiction uh, based on a prompt. And uh, we have these prompts we songwriters do. And after I wrote the song, the prompt was called The Last Time. I wrote the song. And then when my friend Rick Cooper said, hey, you know, the girl in the last time song could be the girl from the cowboy song 30 years later. So maybe, you think? <laughs> I was young, just 16, wet behind the ears, kind of green. How's I to know? He said he loved me so. Woke up one morning and he was gone Left me all alone in the cold, cruel dawn I made up my mind Wouldn't happen one more time Made me a vow on a Gideon Bible This girl here, she's not liable to do it again 
Down went my defenses Found that I could not ignore A curly-headed fella in a plaid fedora He was sweet Knocked me off my feet Woke up one morning and he was gone Left me all alone in the cold, cruel dawn That is when I knew I was spining through Made me a vow on a Gideon Bible This girl here She's not liable to do it again I was through with man It's the last time I'll ever fall in love When we're young we can be forgiven For acting wild and free Pull me once, shame on you Pull me twice, shame on me now I'm older than old enough to know better Ain't in the market for no letterman's sweater Proved I can live without a man And if one left me at the break of day Well, I'd be tired of him anyway Just like fish in the kitchen sink After three days men start to stink Oh, I don't need no Gideon Bible this girl here she's mighty liable to do it again bring on the man I may be rusty but I'm solid gold and a little bit of love and never gets old give me one more time to never fall in love I'd like one more last time to never fall about that that's one of the awesome that's what brings me back every time it's that feature cup that and all the wonderful signs he puts up for me to take home and put on my wall every single picture I've ever put on Facebook is up there and Steve's in one which I'll keep forever because this is the last time we'll play together for a while yeah and I know because he's uh, got his plate full and I've got my plate full until I leave and then we'll be I'll be back I'm, I'm not going full-time um, but I realized that I became famous here at ROM because Chip covered one of my songs and Snake covered one of my songs, the same song. An example of a song, sometimes we don't know our own music sometimes. I wrote this song and it's on my City Girl album, which is 2006. And I was looking for a song to submit to a lyrics only competition that was very well known, American Songwriting Magazine, bi-monthly, um, a thousand entries, and I thought, I've got to find something that kind of stands out. Well, this song had been reviewed by a Nashville guy named Jason Bloom, and he read the lyrics out loud and said, holy crap, there are three lines in here I wish I would have written. So I thought, no, I should, I should listen to that. There are three lines here that stuck out. So I submitted the lyrics only, and I won this guitar. Whoa. Yeah, it's my PRS acoustic guitar. And so I have to sing this song here at ROM because it's made me famous here. Um, so I, the, it, I always say Miranda Lambert was on the cover, but I was a centerfold. Yeah. <laughs> she was too, but I'm in the middle there somewhere. Is that the, that's the first song Steve Gilligan ever recorded with me. So this is really good. This has got sentimental value. Steve's all over my stuff. He's on the City Girl was the first one. He also played bass on Gemini Rising and on um, Tangled in a Tree as well. 
um, and some of my live stuff. Which one? The live record? Yeah, the live record. We recorded seven songs in seven days live at the Bull Run, and he's on it, and Jeff Root, Robert Carlson. Um, it was a fun time. We've done some fun stuff, haven't we? Yeah. And the, uh, Bill, the Bill Morrissey thing was great as well. You weren't able to make that, were you? Bill Morrissey? No, you, didn't, you were busy. The nerve. No. Hey. He doesn't know, he doesn't know I'm his priority, but he's... So this is called If It Mattered. Well, I guess that I could, if so inclined, pick up the pieces of my peace of mind and sweep up the crumbs that you've left behind. If it mattered to me, and I guess if I tried, maybe I could Understand what was misunderstood And sort out the bad that came from the good If it mattered to me And a one, yes, a one, yes, a one, yes, a wonder What matters to you now that we're through What's your priority now that you're free? Does it matter to you that you matter to me? And I guess that I could give it a try and look my yesterday straight in the eye. To discover why nothing hurts more than a lie If it mattered to me And I guess that I will eventually Spend hours and hours in therapy To discover why you and I weren't meant to be If it mattered to me So wonder what matters to you now that we're through what's your priority now that you're free does it matter to you that you matter to me Guess that I could find some other guy Lean on his shoulder and cry in his tie And kiss all the pain, adios and goodbye If it mattered to me Or I guess that I could binge out on dessert Roam around town and learn how to flirt And high heel shoes and a short leather skirt If it mattered to me Oh, what is the matter with me That it matters so much My heart is in tatters At the thought of your touch My whole world, it shatters What matters as such as this matter to me And a one, yes, a one, yes, a one, yes, a one what matters to you now that we're through what's your priority now that you're free does it matter to you that you matter to me does it matter to you that you still matter to me It's funny, um, you know, these, these songs come from weird places, and that really only started because I like the word matter. 
And I got to, think, I got to think, and it's a really fun one of those words in the English language. It means so many different things. It can be a noun, it can be a verb, it could be something on the floor you step on. And um, I got to, ooh, I know, what's that? What's the matter with this matter on my shoe? Um, <laughs> it matters to me, whatever it is. Um, so somebody wrote me an email after our last set of sessions. And he said, oh, I have to tell you, Jane, I was on my tractor the next day mowing my lawn, and suddenly I'm singing a song about something matters, or something this and that, and I realized, oh, that's your song. I may not got it right, but I want you to know it stood with me. You know, I, I, I thought about it and I remembered it, so. <laughs> that's always good, right, when people remember your songs, even, even if they don't remember them right and all the way through. <laughs> so how many we got left? One? One more? Okay, one more. We'll do one more. Um, this is one that, um, I don't know if anybody knows Steve Rapson, he was a local guy. Steve said to me one day, he says, Jane, I got a title for a great song, I just can't write it. It's called Money's Gone Blues. So I wrote it, and he says, well, you know, I have to take half credit for that because of that. <laughs> I gave you the title. <laughs> yes, I do. I actually have a, a jazz a standard CD with, with Steve that you can get from my website if you order it. Um, yeah, he did guitar and I did the jazz standard stuff, but yeah, Steve's a good friend of mine. One, two, three, go. <laughs> I got no food on my table, no sirloin steak of which I'm especially fond. Though I'm ready, willing, and I'm able, I got no lover waking with me come the dawn. And my house is in distress, it's feeling quite depressed. No self-respect and dandelion wants to grow upon my lawn. That's what happens, that's what happens That's what happens when the money's gone See that car out in the driveway It could not turn over If its name was Apple I kick its tires And I cuss at it I threaten to turn it into Scrabble I can't beat it to submission Cause it needs a new transmission And my bank account's severely overdrawn That's what happens, that's what happens That's what happens when the money's gone Well, nobody knows you when you're down and out But I've never been no big spender you can take all the martinis I've ever drunk and put them in one little blender. I got a hole in my head and one in my shoes and a whole lot of holes in between. My friends, they don't mind. They treat me quite fine because they know what it means. I got a doll named Rover. Yeah, that really is his name. He refuses to come over and he tells me I'm to blame. Says he needs more doggy biscuits or he'll refuse to bark. Even if some dirty rotten scoundrel tries to jump me in the dark. So what happens? Yeah, when it happens, you just gotta Cause that's what happens when the money's gone. Thank you. Thank you. Steve Gilligan on bass. Thank you very much. Thank you, Neil. Okay. Steve has given me his blessing and he's so kind. He's, isn't he a wonderful bass player? I mean, 
I mean, he's, he's the best. He is the best, and I'm, I'm very grateful that he deigns to play with me, uh, the crazy stuff that I do with my songs. But, um, so I have one song I'm going to do on my own, because he's kind enough to let me do this. It's my encore song. Um, the, the voice is an instrument, right? Probably the very first one. Maybe be, even before Slamming a Rock, we, wake, we come out of the womb screaming, right? I figured the voice is the first instrument. And I was talking, you guys came back from Sam W. I did the Sam W a few years ago, several times actually, um, talking to Mara Kennedy about the human voice and how people are often afraid just to sing without the instrument glued to their bodies, especially when you go to Sam W, you know, instruments everywhere. So I wrote this song on the way back about singing a cappella, which of course means without a hat. So I don't have a hat on, so it works, right? I know a girl named Ella Sings out on the street Snaps her fingers, taps her toes Keeps a steady beat And she don't need no guitar No piano keys She don't need no banjo To keep her company She sings doo-wop, doo-wop, dop, doo doo dop, doo Shootily doop doop doobly shoop shoop sweep sweep doop doo a doo a bee bop bee bop shoo shoo shooey a cappella Ella singing unaccompanied and now a cappella Ella began to feel alone thought she'd find a fella to call her very own and one day on the street heard the sweetest thing he was cool and he was hip and oh that boy could swing. He sang do up, do up, dop, do a, do a, dop, do a. Shootily doop, doop, doobly, shoop, shoop, sweep, sweep, doop, do a, do a, bee, bop, bee, bop, shoo, 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 a shaking it and baking it unaccompanied. And now acapella Ella and her acapella guy snap their fingers, tap their toes, watch the world go by. And they don't need no banjo and no piano keys. They don't need no guitar to keep them company. They sing doo-wop, doo-wop, dop, doo a doo a dop, doo a Shootily doop doop doobly shoop shoop sweep sweep doop doo a doo a bee bop bee bop shoo 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 Acapella Ella and her acapella fella singing unaccompanied doo up doo a doo up doo a doo up doo up doo a. Thank you. Thank you, Sam, people.